Do not fear the giant mole. At level 230, it may seem to be a fearsome enemy, but with the proper equipment, attitude, and the knowledge from this guide, anyone can lay it to rest. This guide being a guide from 26th of October 2006. I was browsing YouTube and I saw a recommended video to me from a League of Legends YouTuber called Ross Boomsocks and it's, the title was League of Legends but using a 10 year old Amumu guide and Amumu being a champion so he's basically using super old guides to play the modern game which I thought was a pretty interesting and entertaining idea and it fits pretty perfectly with RuneScape so I figured okay Let's find super old RuneScape guides, follow them to see if they're still viable, if they can get me any good drops while doing some bosses. We're starting off with the Giant Mole, the level 230 fearsome enemy Giant Mole. We're gonna lay it to rest. The Giant Mole can be found using a spade on the mole... The mole... The mole holes... The <laughs> on the mole holes in Falador Garden, the mole layer is very dark, so you need to bring a light source. A bullseye lantern should be your first choice. Okay, I'll do that. I'll bring a bullseye lantern. It says so in the guide. We're gonna follow this guide and use it. Giant mole should be considered a side hobby? A side hobby? Playing RuneScape's a side hobby. It's a side hobby within a side hobby. You can't get rich off it. It's not great combat experience. It can be plain frustrating at times. You probably shouldn't do it for many hours. It is just something to do that's different from your normal training routine. Training routine? I have a training routine? Okay, this is the part of the guide that we're really going to be following. The gear and inventory setups and how it teaches us the process of fighting the boss. To take on the mole, we recommend the below stats. The mole has extremely high defense against magic and range, so this guide will be going over the melee only. Requirements. 70 attack and strength, I've got that. 45 defense, I've got that. 43 prayer, I've got that. 50 agility, I've got that. I'm, ba I'm, I'm good to go. This 2006 guide's got nothing on me so far. Patience is the most important thing for beating the giant mole. Sometimes it can take 10 minutes to find it after it has but 10 minutes. Oh yeah, I can't use the Falador stuff to find it because I need to stick to the guide and it and it doesn't include this in the guide. It wasn't a th The Falador thing wasn't a, a, a thing back in the day to use it to find the the giant mole where it went to. So I need to copy this inventory and gear setup. I like the way it's set up like this, it's pretty cool. What are these things? These gloves? White gloves? Cooking gloves? Is he using the cooking gloves from the family crest? It's the white gloves from the white knight equipment after you do wanted. They give you plus one defense and slash and crush, plus two and crush, and plus one prayer. Okay, this dude's rocking these white gloves in this guide. I respect that. I don't know if, be, if there was a better, better alternative back in the day. I assume there was but he's rocking the white knight gloves. And he has a ring of wealth for getting more rare drop table drops, I guess. That's a bit weird. Okay, ring of wealth. Hopefully I still have my uh, ruined defender. Oh yes, I do, there it is. That's what the guy's using in the guide. Oh, this is amazing. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to a giant mole using this banging gear, strength amulet. Oh, I look fantastic. I'm in love with this video idea already, thanks. Ross, you failed Scotsman. The primary goal is to have the lightest inventory possible under one kilogram. Okay, my inventory is set up to look exactly like the picture in the guide, as is my gear. We're heading to the giant mole gardens. We need to go dig up those mole, <laughs> those mole holes. Uh, I'm going to quickly read the tactics in the guide though. The 2006 guide tactics. Let's see if they're still relevant. I am following a very old guide, but I'm not limiting myself to RuneScape as it was back in 2006, okay? I can still use quick prayers. I can still click on my run energy orb and I can still click on this spec thing, okay? I need to be praying melee the whole time. I've only got three prayer potions. The guide says only bring three prayer po Okay, I guess maybe in this, using this setup, you don't get a lot of, a lot of kills per trip, maybe? Let's find out. I guess this is like an, an already super, okay, it's gone. I guess this is like a super easy, uh... oh wait, it's just right here. Sweet, that wasn't difficult to find him. The guide says 10 minutes to find them. Up to 10 minutes. You're crazy. Kinda hoping someone else comes into the cave to find the giant mole and sees me wearing this gear, being like, what the hell is going on? Hey, my first mole kill. Rune met him. Sweet. And a couple of mole skins. And the mole has spawned. I'm assuming it spawns in the middle. Yep, there it is. Well done. You have completed a hard task in the Falador area. Your giant mole kill count is wanted. I'm a giant mole pro. Look at me. Look at the gear I'm using. This is fantastic. Hey, baby, here he is, big boy. Look at that thick mole. That's one thick boy, and he's gone. Piece of dog. Okay, this is okay. I'm gonna be honest. The guide said it can take up to ten minutes to find the mole. I don't know what he experiences when running around this cave. It doesn't take ten minutes to run from one side to the other. 
It takes like 30 seconds. Up to 10 minutes to find the mole that said on the guide. That dude is crazy. Now I'm walking everywhere. Maybe this is where it takes 10 minutes to find the big mole. What does the giant mole music sound like? The mad mole. Let's listen to the tune. Oh, hell yeah. Very moly. Come on, don't dig, you little rat. Do not dig. Yes, poison. Tooth half a key. That, that ring of wealth coming in clutch. Hitting that rare drop table, baby. If anyone enjoys doing this, boss, and having it disappear every time you get next to it, you're, a, you're Satan. You're Satan spawn. You're, you're, a, you're, a, you're a psychopath. You like pain. When I'm trying to find the mole and the poison ticks, and so the mole moves into a place I've already searched, that's been happening quite a lot. I might have to get rid of the dragon dagger. We've got enough room to slay one more daddy mole, or mommy mole. I don't know which gender it is yet. Should I examine it? Does it tell me? Holy moly, nope. I feel sorry for anyone that used this giant mole guide from back in 2006. This isn't the greatest. No one came down into the cave to see me using this really bad gear. So what I want to do is invite someone in from the clan chat. Dicer's clan chat, by the way, join it. Yeah, I'm going to invite someone to come do the giant mole with me, see what they bring, and I want to get their reaction, live reaction to the gear that I'm using. Hey, what's up, dude? Why are you in that? And what? <laughs> the fuck is this? My You're out DPSing me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I actually am. What the hell, dude? <laughs> Come on, you hit it. I'm not, I'm not gonna attack it to not reset it. You just one shot it. Oh, oh shit. Don't reset. Don't get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my kill, dude. I got the kill. <laughs> I'm putting monk robes in a strength amulet. The superior girl is one. <laughs> I don't know it. Yes, finally, I finished a trip with this with this 2006 guide. I never want to do that again. I need something a little bit better. It doesn't even have to be modern. It just has to be good with better gear. Fighting the dragon under Heroes Guild. Dunzo. Recharge my prayer points wearing full proselyte armor. I look badass. Look at that. That does look pretty cool. Let's recharge. Another task done. And finally. Making Mind Ruins. Dunzo. Congratulations, you've completed all the hard tasks in the Falador area. Give me that reward. Falador Shield 3, which I need in order to track the giant mole, and an antique lamp that I'm going to put on rune crafting. I've got my gear set up from the 2006 guide, but I've made some alterations to my inventory. The guide did say I can bring energy potions, so I've done that. And I've changed the amount of lobsters and prayer potions that we're bringing. Oh my god, a dose of energy potion only gives me 10 energy. That's terrible. I've also gotten rid of the dragon dagger because when it teleported away, the dragon dagger would poison it and make it keep moving around, so I'm gonna just not have it do that. That's what made it a little bit frustrating to try and keep finding it. Maybe that's where the guide got the 10 minute wait from looking for the giant mole. First kill, but the mole skins are noted. So with this banging gear, I can stick around longer until my prayer potions run out. Ladies and gentlemen, I have found a loophole. This is a suggested inventory. You can change to whatever items you prefer. So I'm going to look up some upgrades and if it was released before the day of the giant mole release, I will use it. If it wasn't, I won't use it. The giant mole was released 7th of March 2006 and the amulet of glory was released in 2002. So I can use a glory. I'll add the amulet of strength to the loot pile with the other amulet of strengths. What about battles gloves? Battles Gloves would be an amazing upgrade if they're released before Giant Mole. Oh my god. 15th of March 2006. The Giant Mole was released a week before the Battles Gloves. Oh man, that would have been such a good upgrade. It looks like we're just rocking the same gear, same setup. We don't want to change it too much anyway. With an Amulet of Glory instead of an Amulet of Strength. Sure, a, a tiny minor upgrade. I want to find out what the GP per hour using the 2006 guide would be. According to the old school wiki, oldschool.runescape.wiki by the way, not sponsored, the average profit per hour from slaying the giant mole is 750k per hour. I want to see if we can hit that using this very crappy 2006 gear. It's time to start the clock and see how much kills we can get and how much money we can make in one hour using the 2006 guide. Let's go baby. We do have some uh, future upgrades like with the indicator but that's about it really. Our gear and our potions are all from back in the day. Oh no I forgot to get my spec weapon. I was gonna get a halberd. The dragon halberd was released way before the giant mole so we can use that instead of the dragon dagger poison. The clock has started. It's time to blast some tunes. Oh no. Piety was released in 2007. No, I've got to turn it off. I can't use piety. That's going to severely reduce the amount of 
GP pit hour, not using Pie because Pie is pretty darn powerful. We're 22 minutes in and I've finally run out of energy potions. That's not great. Walking around ain't the funnest thing to do, but I have to. That's all I can do now. Wait a minute. Darok armor was came out in 2005. I figured after this segment, which only has 10 minutes left, I was going to try and make a better guide basically on how to fight them all from 2006, but the better guide is the same as it is today, is it's using Darox. New logs, it's one of the best jobs you can get. We've just started fighting a mole and we have 40 seconds left, which means we're gonna have slain 17 giant moles in the one hour period or just over one hour period. It's got four HP, come on, don't don't dig, just hit it. Yes, there we go. Mole Gonzo and the hour is up, we've went over by one minute. That's not too, it's not too big of a deal. Let's price check all the loot that we got. 267. And this isn't even excluding the cost of supplies, which was like seven prayer potions, a super attack and super strength potion, along with a bunch of energy potions, which are pretty cheap, but that's not a lot of money made. You know, this guide was made in 2006, October 2006. Darox came out in 2005, the battles, which is the best way to fight the giant mole. So this guide is completely wrong, although I don't know if the Darok method was discovered back in 2006. I imagine not, because I don't really see many guides until a few years later doing Daroks. Cardinal, 84 and Toad Killer, you guys, you guys, it's, it's terrible. <laughs> it's really, it's really bad. So this guide came out in 2006, October 26. I want to try and make a better guide from the date of this release, using only gear from before the date of this release. I think that's a interesting challenge. Obviously I'm going to be using Danox, but which boots, gloves and all these types of things will I be using? Boom. Everything I'm wearing here was released before that guide was published that I was using. The Fury, the Fire Cape, Climbing... Wait, I've still got boots of lightness? I thought I got climbing boots. I gotta go change those real quick. I got climbing boots, I got more energy potions because stamina potions weren't a thing back in the day, unfortunately. The potion setup's pretty similar. I've got a shark instead of lobsters. I've got the dwarven rock cake, which was also released. Everything except the Falador Shield 3, which helps me track where the mole is, came out before October 26, 2006, and so did everything in my inventory. If you saw someone wearing the stuff that I'm wearing right now, doing giant mole, you wouldn't bat an eye thinking it's outdated. You'd be like, okay, this guy's just doing it. But 13 years ago, that's crazy to think this, 13 years ago, I would be wearing the exact same thing. I think back then it was way harder to get to this level in Old School RuneScape considering that I was way younger and I wouldn't have been able to get this gear. But still, this was definitely the best method to do the giant mole back in the day. So what we do with this is guzzle down on this rock cake until we're 1 HP, protect from melee and go ham on the giant mole. Because for anyone who doesn't know, when you're wearing the Darok set, the lower your HP, the higher your attacks hit. So I can hit like 60s and 80s and stuff. I'll be using the same prayers as well though. No piety, unfortunately. Let's start the timer and see how long it takes to get the same amount of giant mole kills that I got using the other method. 17 kills. Kill number one in 1 minute 30 seconds. It's already way better. I love just one-shotting it. 31 HP left, it doesn't even have a chance to run away. Boom. Zero. Oh, damn. Oh, well. <laughs> That's not great. Okay, it just burrowed away. I'm going to one-hit it real quick. Never mind. This is it. This is the last KC. Because, oh, 65, it's only got 4 HP left. Please don't dig away. Please, hit something. Hit something, don't dig. It has been 25 minutes, and after I hit a 4 on this big mole boy, there it is. It took 25 minutes and way less supplies to get the exact same result as I got using the Monk Robes Guide. And all of this gear and the prayers that I'm using, literally everything except the Falador Shield 3, which I was also using for the Monk Robes Guide. I got basically the exact same price check in 17 KC, except I used way less supplies. Actually, I got a higher price check with all this loot. I just forgot to put some things in there. Obviously, <laughs> Darox is better. No one's disputing that. But holy moly, this guide is abomination. I never want to follow this guide. It was pretty funny, though, using these white knight <laughs> This is my loot tab from the video. I did actually make 1 million GP, apparently, according to the tab. So let's sell it, make sure it's accurate. And I made 1 million GP from this video. Right guys, that's been it. I used a guide from 2006 and it was terrible for even that time. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more types of videos from using guides back in the day, feel free to leave suggestions, links to guides and rate the video. Goodbye.
Hey guys, thank you for watching that video. I really appreciate it. If you want to subscribe, you can hit this profile picture icon here or just below the video. You can hit subscribe there and make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. If you're interested in my most recent upload, there it is in the top right. And if you want to support the channel and get something out of it, there's a merch store, buy some cool looking stuff.